Hey everyone, in this video I want to introduce to you sending emails through Flask or using Flask. So it's common for web applications to need to be able to send emails because say someone registers for your app, you can send them a confirmation email. If someone loses a password, you can send them a, a password recovery email. And if you just need to get their attention for some reason, you can send them an email. It's also good for debugging in production. So you don't want the typical Flask debugging active in a production environment. But if something does go wrong, you can have an email sent to you so you can check it out and fix it. So in this video, I want to just introduce to you how to send emails using Flask. Um, it's going to be pretty basic, but once you're introduced to it, it's pretty easy to add on to it because um, emails are pretty straightforward. I'm going to show you the simplest case and if you want to learn more just read the docs. So the first thing you have to do, well two things. First you need to have some kind of mail server set up. I have my website's mail server but uh, I believe typical email accounts like a, uh, a Yahoo account or a Gmail account would work. I don't have either one but if you can set an email account up on your phone, you should be able to access the same mail server using Flask. So I'm not 100% on that. You just have to check the uh, docs for your email client, but I'm pretty sure you can. But like I said, I have a mail server on my website and I'm pretty sure it works. And then the second thing you need to do is install Flask mail. So I've already installed it in this virtual environment, but the command would just be pip install flask dash mail. Pretty simple. So now that I have those covered, I want to get into writing the code. So first I'll write the boilerplate flask code and then I'll add all the mail stuff in. So from flask import flask. I hate when it makes it lowercase. And then I'll make app I'll have a route that won't do anything initially so let me set up this if main is main and then I'll set up a simple route on the index And I'll just return message sent. So in this view function, I'm going to put all the um, the message to be sent. And of course in Flask, everything needs to be inside of a request. So that's why I'm putting it in this view function. <clears throat> so typically the user will do something that triggers an email to be sent. Of course, it doesn't have to be that way. You can trigger it yourself, but for simplicity purposes, it's going to be triggered when I go to the index. So now that I have the boilerplate Flask code set up, let me set up the, the Flask mail. So from Flask underscore mail, that's the uh, module that we're using, I'm going to import two things, the mail class and the message class. Um, and you can probably figure out what those mean by just looking at the names. And then there's a little bit of configuration that needs to be done. So I will do that here. Um, First, I want to configure the mail server, and it is the mail server on my website, so mail.prettyprinted.com. And then I want to um, configure the port, so I'll be using SSL for this, so the port is 465. You may, you'll probably use 465 if you're using any popular email client, if you have your own somewhere you may end up using port 25 which is just the unencrypted port but for SSL emails uh, you're going to use 465 it may be something else it depends on your server but typically it's a number like that and then I want to configure it to use SSL because my mail server won't allow me to send unencrypted emails so I have to use SSL so this is true and then I have a couple of other configuration values, the username and the password. So it's mail username and then mail password. But I'm not gonna show you them. I put them in a configuration file before I started this video. So 
from pi file haverman config.cfg. But just know that you need your username and password to connect to your mail server, unless it doesn't have a username and password, which would be really weird. So after all the configuration stuff, I'll need to um, just connect the mail class to the app. So I'll instantiate this mail with mail of app. So that way, um, Flask Mail is now officially part of our app and we can use it for something. So sending a message is really easy. The very first thing I need to do is actually create the message. So I'll just say MSG, short for message. It's going to be a message. And this constructor is going to take three things that we need. Um, I'll pass in the text of the email and then where it's from. So sender is going to be anthony at prettyprinted.com. Feel free to send me an email there if you have any questions. Uh, and then my personal email is going to be the recipient. And it's an array, so it's recipients. So since I'm only sending to one person, me, I need to just put one email address inside of the array. And that's my personal email address. If you want to send me an email there, that's fine. I'm happy to hear from anyone who watches these videos. So after I have that set up, that's all I need for the message. And to send the message is very simple. I just call mail and the send method on mail and I pass the message. And with these two things, I can send an email to myself. So I have my inbox open right now and then I have this page open that doesn't work yet because I haven't started the server. So let's see if this works on the first try. I named it mail.py, right? Now send mail.py. it looks like it's working. So I'm gonna run this and it may take a moment because it has to connect to the mail server and then send it. So it's processing. Oh, that, that was pretty fast. So it should have sent the message and I'm back in my email and I see I just got a message saying hello from Anthony at prettyprinted.com. Now if I use some other email address, it probably sent it directly to my spam folder because I was trying to say the sender was from a different domain than the mail server, but since they match up, it allowed me to send an email to myself. And it's really that simple. If you need to send them to more than one person, just add another email to the array. And of course, uh, you can send bulk emails this way. Um, really, emails are so straightforward. It's just whatever you need emails for, Flask Mail will help you out there. And I really don't think there's that much to it. But if you want to know more about it, just check out the docs. Uh, flask mail. I'll put a link to the docs in the description below so if anyone wants to take a look at those. So that's it for this video. I just want to show you how easy it is to send emails from Flask. So if you have any questions about this video just leave me a comment down below and I'll answer it. Um, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you like my channel overall please subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.